in this example we are going to look into sampling and quantization and for the later we would also look into the signal to quantization noise ratio so let us first start with a signal say we have a signal which is m of t and this signal is band limited to 1 megahertz that is we have a baseband signal we can call as fp and its bandwidth is 1 megahertz now as per the nyquist criteria the sampling frequency which we can term as fs that must be greater than or equal to two times uh, fb which indicates that the sampling frequency based on the nyquist criteria this has to be greater than or equal to 2 megahertz now in the statement we have a signal which is band limited to 1 megahertz and it is sampled at a rate 50 percent higher than the nyquist rate so based on this new information the sampling frequency fs is 50 percent higher than the nyquist rate so that is we have 1.5 times 2 times fp so this indicates that the sampling frequency based on 50 percent higher nyquist rate so this is 3 megahertz next we have quantization levels which are 256 that is we have quantization level which we denote by l and they are equivalent to 2 power n where n is the number of bits so this is equivalent to 256 and this indicates that the total number of bits used that is n is 8 this is an 8 bit quantizer and finally in the question we are given that we are using a mu law with mu equal to 255 now let us look into the first part of this problem and in the first part we are asked to determine the signal to quantization noise ratio that is in the first part we have s q n r and for the mu law we know that this is equivalent to 3 l square over natural logarithmic denominator which is 1 plus mu whole square and from here we know that l is 256 so we have 3 times 256 over ln mu is 255 so this is 256 whole square so this is 6 3 9 4 approximately or in db scale we have 10 log 10 of 6 3 9 4 and this is simply 38.06 db so under the given constraints signal to quantization noise ratio is 38.06 db and this is desired in the first part now in the second part it says that this snr or sqnr that we have received in part a this is unsatisfactory it's not adequate so it must be increased at least by 10 db let's stop here and see how it can be increased the desired sqnr or rather snr should be greater than or equal to 48.06 db so this is desired so in order to achieve this desired snr either we can increase the number of levels right or we can change the parameters such as mu now in our question the mu is fixed this cannot be changed so we are left with the quantization levels and previously the quantization levels were 256 that were based on the number of bits which are 8 now if we increase the number of bits to 9 this would indicate that the quantization level which is 2 power n or rather 2 power 9 they would be 512 hence the signal to noise ratio this would be 3 times 512 square over natural logarithmic of 
1 plus mu which is 256 whole square so this is 255 so this is equivalent to 25576 approximately and in db scale this is 44 db roughly which is not a 10 db increase from 38 so we need to increase the quantization levels further and for that if we set n is equal to 10 and for that we would have l equal to 1024 and the SNR for that this is equal to 10 log of 3 into 1024 square divided by natural logarithmic of 1 plus 255 that is 256 whole square now this is going to yield 51 db approximately which is more than 10 db increase from the SNR achieved in part A. So hence we have n equal to 10 which suffices the need of 10 db increase in SNR. Now coming back to the question again, it says that the SNR, the received signal quality found in part A which was 38.06 db. This was unsatisfactory and it must be increased by at least 10 dB. And we have found that such increase would desire a quantizer which is basically a 10 bit quantizer. So would you be able to obtain the desired SNR without increasing the transmission bandwidth? That is we don't want to increase the transmission bandwidth. And the transmission bandwidth which is linked with the transmission weight which we can refer to as C. This is equivalent to number of bits times the rate times the bandwidth of message signal. And in part A, we said that we are having 50% higher than the Nyquist rate. That is, we had 1.5 times the Nyquist rate, which is 2. So for n equal to 8 in part A, the capacity is 8 times 1.5 into 2 which is 3 times bandwidth which is 1 megahertz and hence this is 24 megabits per second now let us fix this rate which is 24 megabits per second and we are saying that again the bandwidth is b nyquist rate is 2 instead of 50 percent increase let me put a marker here and let's say that marker is simply a and times the number of bits so previously it was 8 now in part b we are saying we need n equal to 10 so over here we have 10 so hence a is equal to 24 by 10 into 220 bandwidth is 1 megahertz so that would take care of this so hence we have 1.2 that is a is equal to 1.2 which means that we are working on 20 percent higher rate than the nyquist rate so in short we have increased the number of quantization levels and the number of bits by 2 while we have decreased the Nyquist rate or sampling rate from 50% to 20% and under such condition we can achieve an SNR which is 51 dB and that is more than the 38 dB in educate SNR found in part A. So it says that if it was found that a sampling rate of 20% above the Nyquist rate is educate. So the question itself is saying that 20% is enough. What is the maximum SNR that can be realized in this way? So basically we have worked that out over here. 51 dB is achieved by considering 20% higher Nyquist rate at n equal to 10.